Does anything quite scream like a Dakota day than putting a scrunchie in your hair? I don't know. I don't know. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing the final declutter. And you might be like, why is this taking you so long? And it's specifically because I am trying to declutter as sustainably as possible, ensuring I'm getting rid of things that I actually don't wanna take with me into my new life when I move abroad. And also, I just wanna ensure that I'm not throwing things away and adding to the waste crisis, adding to donating clothes that don't, you know, aren't even gonna be used. So that's why we're doing it slowly. But also, I'm giving myself that opportunity to say no to getting rid of things and then reevaluating a little bit later on. Just a quick thank you to Squarespace for always supporting my content, but we'll chat about them a little bit later on. Okay, so for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been in Scotland for the past couple of weeks and I am one of those people who's really bad at, my cat is here, so you're probably gonna hear her purring very loudly as well. So when I get back from a trip, I'm very bad at unpacking and just getting stuff sorted. Yeah, I'll take my clothes out and I'll probably wash most of them, but the rest of the stuff I'm very bad at doing. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna wash everything and then I'm gonna put everything on my bed and I'm gonna look at what it is that I still have and really question whether these things get worn enough if I'm just holding on to them because I might wear them and a lot of things that come up when I've been watching minimalist videos is this idea of our fantasy self. I'm not the same size that I was maybe a couple of years ago and I still have some of those clothes. Lots of them still fit me which is awesome but also some of them don't and I'm still holding on to them just in case. And I know I've got get, gotten rid of a lot of those clothes. I've given many to my sister, who is about half my height and a different size to me. So those have luckily been able to serve her. But yeah, those are things that have been coming up in these minimalist videos that I have been watching to kind of get inspired and motivated to do this final declutter. I don't know if any of you watch uh, Christina's channel. I'm not gonna butcher her surname. I think she's Ukrainian slash Canadian. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that to you. But I've been watching her videos this morning and she did one with this other creator called The Tidy Moose, I think, I, who was actually taught by Marie Kondo herself how to declutter in a way that serves you and serves your clothes. And the way that they do, it, I think is really beautiful in the sense that it really values those items in a sustainable way. So they're not just throwing stuff in bin bags and just throwing it all out. Yeah, so that's made a big difference in terms of how I've approached stuff as well. And that's how I'm gonna approach this. So I wanted to watch that this morning to get like super inspired and just <sighs> declutter. Oh, actually, and one last thing is I did actually go back to London yeah, I went back to London just to check to see if there were any final stuff because my friend is taking over my room in a month's time and I wanted to go and clean it and make sure that, you know, everything there is, is suited for her. And I found an, some more of my stuff. It really is wild how you can accumulate so much stuff and you really don't think that you do. Even someone who claims to be kind of an eco-minimalist, as Shelby calls it, you could still find things that you didn't know that you had because you tucked them away. So we are gonna sort those out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've been through all my clothes and put them all on here. In the background, you can see some clothes that are hung up. Those ones are my staples that I literally wear every day, so I'm not even gonna go through those. I looked just kind of quickly, and yeah, those are absolute staples. I clearly get value out of them. I clearly wear them all the time. So I'm now gonna go through all the stuff that's on my bed. Honestly, I cannot believe that I'm doing this again. <laughs> it just makes me think that I obviously wasn't I was too emotional, I think, about my previous ones. I think it's totally okay to keep some things that were like my grannies, for example, or my mum's that I don't wear that much, but for sentimental value, that's okay. And I'm definitely never gonna subscribe to this minimalism sort of thing where you can't keep those sentimental things. It's only if it kind of, it's only if it gets in the way of your life and these things definitely don't. So we're gonna go through those and I'm gonna be more 
less emotional and just practical. Not even gonna think, I'm just gonna do a yes and a maybe pile, and then that maybe pile is secretly actually a no pile. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna quickly try on these jeans because there are some things that I'm just not quite sure if they actually fit me. Um, I'm not, I don't know why, these are not, yeah, I'm gonna try these on and see and a few other things because there are some things that I like but I'm not sure if they fit me and if they don't fit me then there's really no point in keeping them, is there? Okay, so this is like a perfect example. I wasn't sure if these were gonna fit me. They do fit me. And I also realized that I like actually really love the color of them. So these are definitely, definitely staying. This is why it is so important to try things on. The only, I was a bit worried that they're a bit short, but I like them. Uh, they're keeping, they're staying. Okay, so this was like a summer skirt. I got this secondhand back in 2019 when I went thrift shopping with Shelby and Jess. Um, the only thing is, I just, I'm worried it's not very flattering on me. I, I worry that it accentuates parts that I'm particularly um, maybe insecure about, but I really like it, especially with this jumper. But I can't tell if this kind of red, this light one, is my kind of red. Don't we love <laughs> how I was like, I'm gonna do this unemotionally, I'm gonna do this cutthroat, and now I'm like, well, I'm trying to explain these things. I don't know what to do about this one. What do you think? Let me show you full. This is the full, full outfit. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how many things I just was ruthless about. There's one jumper in there I think you're probably going to be surprised about, but I I put it away in that suitcase to kind of see and I never went to grab it, I never went to get it. And that kind of is a sign that I probably shouldn't have it anymore. So I think that might be... <sighs> I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, um, I forgot that I'm actually supposed to go to the gym now. So I'm gonna go to the gym. Then when I get back, I'm gonna have some lunch, have a shower, and then we will pick this up. But I think we're doing pretty well so far. I think clothes are not my biggest problem. It's the kind of stuff that I have that I've accumulated over many years because I don't like to get rid of things because when I buy things, I am quite thoughtful about it, so. Iggy's made herself comfortable. I'm gonna get changed, head to the gym, and then have a bit of a fresh brain when we come back. Hello, I'm back from the gym. It was... One of the hardest workouts I've done in a long time. And since I haven't been to the gym for about three weeks, because I've been in Scotland and then I was in London. Ooh, that really hurt. For anyone who actually cares, it was five rounds for time, 20 handstand push-ups, 40 pull-ups, 60 pistol squats, five times. Needless to say, I had to scale many of those things. But I got my pistol squats for the first time in my life. So that's pretty exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower now and then I think I'm pretty much done with the clothes. I've decided what I'm keeping and what I'm not and I'm pretty happy with where I got to. Yeah, but I'm sweaty. I'm gonna go have a shower and then I'm gonna get decluttering the rest of my things. So I'll put all my clothes away, put the clothes in a place that I am decluttering and then get to the stuff because that I think is gonna be my biggest. And then also we need to get my tent out that I'm gonna be selling or giving away. I mentioned that in my last video that I'm not buying any new hiking gear, no winter hiking gear at all. I have all the stuff that I need. I'm not going hiking anywhere snowy, so I don't need any like crampons or anything like that. Maybe in the future when I get a bit more um, confident with hiking in the snow, but to be honest, in the UK where I hike, especially alone, I feel pretty safe because I feel very experienced in those places and there's never any snow there, so that's fine. But I am gonna get rid of my tent because my boyfriend, as I said in my last video, has two tents and so we don't need to add a third one to the mix. It just doesn't make sense. And it's a great tent, so I'm hoping that someone else can use it and have as much fun with it as, as I did. So let's have a shower and then get to work. 
I just want to take a small break to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, manage your members and send email communications and leverage audience insights. I love creating a community over on Squarespace because I can use their fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies and likes. So if you're interested, head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash sustainably vegan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Good morning friends. It got quite dark last night so I stopped filming. I did a few bits just to get started on my stuff and managed to recycle a few papers that I don't use anymore and just kind of start that process. So we're gonna be picking it off today. I'm gonna to go make a cup of coffee now to just ease our way into the day. We've got a lot of stuff to do. I've got this decluttering to do, filming to do, and then I also have a lot of work to do as well. So we're gonna be splitting the day up, but I really wanna get started. And I also want to take the clothes to the places that they're going today before before I have a chance to kind of rethink because it's been several, maybe even months, maybe a month or maybe six weeks since I started this process. So I really want to just, this be the final time. I don't wanna be still decluttering after this and I want to have a space where it makes me even more mindful about those things that I'm bringing in. I actually put up a story on Instagram yesterday saying if you had any tips and so many of you gave me really wonderful tips on decluttering and I think one of the best ones was don't be too hard on yourself. If you have all of these things and you still get value out of them, then there's no need to get rid of them. And many others um, quite aptly sort of talked about, you need to consider when you're looking at some of your items, would you take this abroad with you if you're moving internationally? And obviously I am. So that's one thing that's really been in my mind as I've been thinking about these things. I've been really considering whether I would want to take these things with me abroad and shipping and things like that. Cause I've decided to take my bike with me cause I love my bike. So that's gonna be a big cost or maybe not too big, but that's an additional thing to think about. Anyway, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and then we're gonna start on stuff. And then this afternoon we're gonna take our clothes to some donation spots that I have called ahead and asked if they need certain things. Um, because I want to make sure that they're actually going to get used. I have my trusty companion right here that you can't see. Always here to help. So we're going to get started. But we're going to get started with that coffee first. We are inevitably back on the floor with my black coffee because I have not made any milk. This pile right here is stuff that is going. I think I may have mentioned that I had a stabilizer for my camera that I was gonna use. And then I just thought, I haven't touched that in probably a year, so it's going. So that's the stuff that's going. This is where the stuff begins, the stuff that I have to go through. This was in London, which is why I didn't have it to go through. 
This is a pile of stuff again from London. And then I'm gonna go through this as well. This has all my winter hiking gear in it, my tent and things like that. So we're gonna get out the stuff that's in there. Oh, and my bike packing things and that too. Those are definitely not going anywhere. Love those, get a lot of value out of those. So we're gonna go through that and these things. <sighs> and finally, hopefully, we can then start moving them on. Wow, okay, so that took a while. Um, I put a lot of stuff in there that I'm definitely keeping that fit in there, which I was so pleased about because once I took the tent out, there was a lot more space. This is all the stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna pack it up now and I'm gonna take it. I can't believe we're nearing the end of this decluttering. I also feel less bad about keeping some sentimental things because it's not as though I never look at them. I do look at them quite often actually. And even if I don't, even if I look at them once or twice a year, they still mean a lot to me now. And I love looking back over those things, like my 18th birthday, cars and things like that. For some people, they might be unnecessary clutter, but for me, they just really remind me of how lucky I am to have such a rich life in terms of friendships and relationships and memories. And those are things that I really want to hold on to because those are the most important things to me anyway. Let's pack up this stuff. Let's get going. And just like that, we are done. There is nothing more satisfying than after decluttering and tidying, giving a room a good clean. Definitely vacuuming makes a much bigger difference than I think I realized. Anyway, I'm proud of how much I decluttered and also because I spread this over a couple of days and took your advice on Instagram in that poll I did, it really helped me to feel happy and positive about the things that I was keeping and not rush to get rid of things and guilty because I wanted to keep something that, you know, didn't fit a, I guess, a minimalist standard. But that's what I think is so funny and interesting and silly about labels is really they're very fluid and it's important that you make them work for you. So while I'm on a minimalist journey, I'm not necessarily a minimalist. I just try my best to really find value in the things that I own, really take care of them, really think about the sustainable aspect of consumerism and how and why I play a part in that. The two bags that I'm gonna be giving away are this grin bag. It's a kind of a side bag. It's supposed to be a little bit like a bum bag, but different. Um, and then also this one, I really love this bag. It has a beautiful kind of stripe here that's really helpful for when I was cycling. Um, obviously it's dirty, I'm going to clean it up and make sure it's tip-top shape when I give it away. So, in January, my friend Aerie has been working with me on a much more nuanced and just epic challenge that I did a couple of years ago uh, called like the Low Impact Challenge and I'm going to be bringing that back but we're going to be making it as comprehensive as possible and we're going to take everything that we've learned from you know, the zero waste movement, sustainability, what people want now and how the movement has changed in a good way and how we wanna be looking at a more nuanced view. So if you're interested in taking that challenge, I want you to rest up this winter and take the break that you need because in January we'll be starting this challenge and everything that you need to know will be in my new newsletter. So I'm gonna leave the link in that description and if you sign up to that, then you'll get everything you need. And we're gonna have YouTube videos, we're gonna have Instagram posts, we're gonna have everything. And also, Aerie is much better placed than I am to talk about things like collective action and organization and 
lots of other intersectional things that we should be thinking about in terms of living a more minimal and more sustainable lifestyle so I'm going to put the link to their newsletter in the link below as well. This is my very collaborative effort and I'm just so pleased to be working with someone that not only is now my friend but is also just a brilliant writer really really smart and intelligent and thoughtful and brings a different perspective that I can't bring to sustainability and this question so if you sign up to that newsletter I think we're going to do a challenge in a couple of weeks not a challenge a giveaway in a couple of weeks anyone who signed up to that newsletter will be automatically entered but then you can obviously specify if you don't want to be a part of the challenge uh, why do I keep saying challenge giveaway so Sign up to the newsletter, the challenge will be coming and I'm really excited about it. Also today, <laughs> funnily enough, I'm doing another giveaway but with actually Grinbag and they're going to be sending a bag out to someone who wants one. So that's going to be on Instagram so I'll put that in the link down below as well. So lots of Grinbag giveaways at the moment but this is all upcycled stuff. I wouldn't be sharing something that isn't something I truly love and I've been working with them for years and I'm still using their bags. I just have too many and I want to share them with you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and, and let me know in the comments anything that you would like to be in the newsletter as well in the upcoming weeks up until, because we're gonna be launching basically in January with this challenge. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very, very, very soon. Bye.